In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bar by bar analysis of the price action from today. So let's get into the video. We see right now the bars are printing and it is around 9 a.m. Eastern time, 6 a.m. Pacific. We just have some choppiness after a short term downtrend. We have another leg down followed by a leg up and a higher low right here. This is in the middle of this trading range, but obviously prices have been trending down. So really, we just want to look for short setups. We don't want to fade the breakout going long because, like I said, prices have just been in downtrend all day. So let's see if we can find any high probability setup. So at this point of the day, I had started to draw this range because I saw that we were coming from the lows and I expected to reach somewhere around the highs. So now that we stacked around the highs, it is clear that this trading range is valid. If we also draw a midline, then we see that the midline is also in play and looks pretty valid. So now prices are working down. We have a break of this short-term downtrend, a new low, and we reach the bottom side of this trading range. So we expect prices to once again go to the top of the trading range. So now at this point, we're reaching the top of the trading range and a news item was announced and it led to some vigorous price movement, but price action rules are still followed even during news announcements. So now, at this point, we have a second entry short as well as a lower high confirming the failed breakout. So now we have a break and a new high of this short-term uptrend. Here's the break, here's the new high, and we're at the top of this trading range. So we're expecting prices to at least go to the bottom side of the trading range, especially because most breakouts of trading ranges fail. So once we push strongly below the EMA, all I'm looking for is a lower high with a nice bearish signal bar, touching the EMA, closing below the EMA. This was the first very high probability setup of, of the day, and it worked out very, very nicely. So now, if we draw this short-term downtrend, we also have a break and a new low, so we want to avoid taking any shorts just yet until a second entry short can potentially form. So now, that's exactly what we get. We have a new low here, we have one leg up, another very strong leg down, and a second leg up. So this is a second entry short opportunity. And now we also can draw this short term leg. There was a break of it. We're expecting new low. It's a lower high also combined with the second entry short. And that trade worked once again. So after we had the break in a new low, prices just started to become a little bit congested. And we could try to form some sort of wide downtrend at this point, but nothing looks very valid. So I'm going to stick to the short term trends for now. So we have a couple bounces at the bottom of this range, which we probably wouldn't have drawn yet. But once we see that prices are pretty stacked, that's when we would have it drawn, place it somewhere right around there. We have a new low here, double bottom resetting the count. We have one leg up, failed breakout of the top of the range. And then Similar to the first trade we looked at, this is a lower high as well as a second entry short. We came from the top of the range once again. This is a triple test. One, two, three. Very, very bearish signal bar. Closed below the EMA. That's another nice, nice, nice looking trade. And then we just had this downtrend that followed. We had a slight break and a new low and some more choppiness. So we just always want to draw our trading range. We have another leg down. We always draw our thin trend channels, no matter how short term the legs might be. We have some more choppiness, some more choppiness, new low of this short term downtrend. Even without this trading range, we can see that it's clearly forming one. So that's when we can draw this and see if prices once again can come up to these levels and form a nice short setup for us. So we're finally reaching that point. We have a breakout of the top of the range. We had three or four clear touches at the top of the range. Now we have this overshoot of the channel, which also looks like just a break. And we can see that when, the, when a leg is this strong up, it usually means that the, the buying pressure must come to an end at some point, especially because, once again, if we're looking at the overall trend of the day, we want to be looking for shorts every time... We attempt to break out of the EMA on the top side. It seems that we are 
failing and want to just keep pushing lower and lower. And now we can see that this sort of downtrend is starting to look pretty nice, especially because it's a third touch off of it. So we have the failed breakout. Let's see if we can get a lower high, which we have right here. Look at this repeat pattern, guys. If we look at the first trade right up here, it was a lower high after a failed breakout of the range. This trade right here, it was a lower high after the failed breakout of the range. Once again, same, same, same concept. We just had a leg down, some congestion, failed breakout of the top, lower high, another gorgeous silking signal bar. Boom. Now, prices are just weekly, weekly trending down, but it really means that the selling pressure is very present and the sellers are not going to go anywhere. So now we have an overshoot of this wide term channel. And what do we have again? Another repeat pattern, congestion, failed breakout of the top. Can we get a lower high? We cannot this time, but we do have this leg down. Let's see if we can get a break at a new low. Not quite a new low just yet, but prices are just pretty congested. And now is where you can, if you're trading live, we can probably put this trading range on. We just fail out the bottom. See if we push up. We just keep chopping around. Here is a higher low, which is similar to the lower high we see previously. But in this case, you do not want to go long at this bar because look at the downtrend. Prices are trending down and we're still in this very, very strong downtrend. So you don't want to be going long anytime soon. So let's see if we can have any nice short setup. We reach the top of the trading range. We push low. We cannot get a lower high. We have one right there, but it's not below the EMA. And prices do reach the bottom of the trading range. Let's draw our leg once again. We have a break and a new low. And we just end up pushing lower and lower and lower. So once again, the sellers are not going anywhere. Let's get rid of this just for now. But at this point of the day, we see that we're just in this major downtrend. If we draw a midline of the trend channel, we can see that prices are really reacting to the midline, which just gives us more confidence that it's relatively valid, even though we want to focus on the short term trend lines and trend channels for the actual prob high probability setups, the wide term downtrend just allows us to visualize and illustrate what prices are doing at a higher, higher time frame. So now we have one leg up, two legs up, then a break and a new high. If we can get a failed second entry long here, we want to take it. Here we have a lower high, but we're above the EMA. We have a second entry long right there, but once again, we're going right into this trend line. We already had a break and a new high of this short-term leg. Prices look kind of choppy. You don't want to go long, especially in this downtrend. So now prices just continue chopping along. And we see right here, we don't have this trading range on, but if we were ahead of the curve and just looking for a triple test here, especially because we already had a break in a new high of this short-term uptrend. If we look at this as a triple test or really like a fifth test because we have one, two, three, this is the fifth bar at this exact price level. Also, it's a second entry short. We have a new low here. First entry short, second entry short. We're away from the EMA. When you see a bearish signal bar right at these same prices looking like that, that's another nice trade might be a little more aggressive, but I really like that trade. And that's why I ended up rocketing down. Whenever you're questioning a trade, whether you should have taken it or, or, or not, if prices react this strongly, you know you did something right. So now let's see if we can get a lower high. Unfortunately, we don't, but we have a break and a new low. So we want to pause on any short trades just yet. Prices are just looking very choppy. We get to the top of the range once again. And we're just nearing the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. This has been Momo Trades. Have a good one.